Row 1. Text, Notepad Window, Text Editor, Editing. Remember this is not teaching man teacher. It is useful for recalling, when exam coming man student. Just close eyes eye and listen. Based on G scheme for electronics engineering group. Subject, audio video engineering, 17537. These are mostly important questions which is always repeat. Form top to end it reduce repeated changes. X question 1 is more important than 2 in notes. And note warning sign warning sign that this is not all chapter. Audio Video Engineering Chapter 5 1 2. Draw the circuit diagram of RGB drive amplifier and explain its working. ANS Circuit Diagram minus 3 marks, Explanation 3 marks, RGB drive amplifier, 3 marks. Explanation 3 marks. RGB amplifier circuit consists of three identical video amplifiers for driving the three cathodes of picture tube. The inputs of amplifiers obtained from the decoded red, green, and blue outputs of chroma IC. Q1, Q2, Q3 are high-frequency transistor of type BF393 or BF869. The three amplifiers are of same design, so their frequency response is nearly same. Three amplifiers are identical so only one is considered to explain. Q1 of green signal amplifier is connected in CE configuration. 150 VDC supply is filtered by L2 and C9, C7, and C8 are bypassed to the emitter supply. R15 and R12 provide negative feedback to improve DC stability. L3 in the collector load used to extend bandwidth. C1 at input to amplifier is to improve step response. The DC collector voltage determines the picture tube cutoff voltage is fixed by R17. R1 is varied for monochrome reproduction at highlights. A. State the working principle and working of LCD TV with appropriate diagram. ANS. Working principle, 1 mark, LCD TV has two sheets of polarized glass plates with some liquid crystal solution trapped between them, forcing the liquid crystal into a twisted structural arrangement. Diagram, 2 marks. Audio Video Engineering Chapter 5. 2. Working, 1 mark. LCD TV uses the LCD display technology to produce images. LCD is a form of visual display technology that functions by sandwiching a layer of liquid crystals between two transparent electrodes or conductive surfaces. Liquid crystals are specialized molecules that flow like liquids but polarize light like solid, crystalline structures. LCD technology works by selective passage of light which passes through millions of individual LCD structures. These shutters are arranged in grids and constitute colored filters, allowing only the RGB portion of the light to pass through white light are typically provided by a series of CCFLs, cold cathode fluorescent lamps, which are rear of the screen. Every single sub-pixel is formed by a shutter-filter combination, and these sub-pixels blend together to form whole picture. C. Draw sketch showing constructional details of Yagi UDA antenna. ANS, any one relevant diagram, for marks. Audio Video Engineering Chapter 5 3. E. Describe NHK Musk system for HDTV. Note, spelling mistake in question. It's Muse not Musk ANS explanation. 2 marks. Muse stands for Multiple Subnyquist Sampling Encoding, and is an HDTV bandwidth compression scheme developed by NHK. It uses fundamental concepts for performance exchange in the spatio, temporal, transitory transformation, 
domain along with motion compensation to reduce the transmission bandwidth down to near about 10 MHz. The processed HDTV signal can be then transmitted using a single BDS channel. Temporal interpolation in MUSE the luminance and color information are sent by time multiplex components, TMC. The color information is sent sequentially with a time compression of 4. The TMC signal is bandwidth reduced means of 3, dimensional offset sub, sampling pattern over a 4, field sequence. The stationary areas of the picture are reconstructed by temporal interpolation of samples from 4 fields. Spatial interpolation for a moving picture area The final picture is reconstructed by spatial interpolation using samples from a single field. Hence moving portions of the picture are reproduced with one quarter the spatial resolution of the stationary areas. The spatial frequency response for both stationary and moving areas of the picture is shown in figure below. The lack of resolution during movements of the entire scene as in case of camera panning, zooming or tilting is prevented by introducing spatial motion compression technique. A vector representing the motion of the scene is calculated for each file at the encoder. This signal is multiplexed in the vertical blanking interval and transmitted to the receiver. In decoder, the read out addresses of picture elements, pixels, from previous fields are shifted according to the information provided by the motion vector so that the data can be processed in still picture mode. These two modes of interpolation, the inter-frame processing for stationary pictures and infra-field averaging for moving portions of the picture are switched by detecting the moving areas at the decoder. Audio transmission is done by 4 phase DPSK which is multiplexed with the processed video signal in the vertical blanking interval after frequency modulation of the transmission carrier by the video signal. Diagram Audio Video Engineering Chapter 5 4 B. With the help of suitable diagram, explain how U and V signals are separated in color TV. ANS, Diagram 2 Marks, Explanation 2 Marks, Working, Chroma signal is applied to Q1. Chroma signal is applied to delay line through transformer T1. This signal, after delay line, appears across A winding. Direct signal is fed to center top of T2 transformer. Voltage induced into winding A and B is equal in magnitude, but opposite in phase due to signal from delay line. Whereas voltage induced into winding A and winding B is equal in magnitude, and same phase. This means that direct and delayed signals have same phase in one winding, but are of opposite phase in second winding. Thus results in separation of U and V signal. Audio Video Engineering Chapter 5 5 I draw circuit diagram showing how EHT supply is generated from line output stage in color TV. ANS a. Draw the block diagram of PAL-D decoder, and explain its working in detail. ANS, Diagram 4 Marks Block Wise Explanation 4 Marks Explanation, Chroma Signal Selection, its function is to select chroma and color burst signal from the incoming CCVS signal by Chroma Signal Selection Circuit. It essentially consists of band pass circuit whose center frequency is chosen to be equal to that of chroma subcarrier itself i.e. 4.43 MHz. First chroma amplifier, the chroma and burst signals are amplified by first chroma amplifier, which is controlled by DC voltage developed by the automatic chroma control, ACC, amplifier. Second chroma amplifier, the second chroma amplifier incorporates color saturation control circuit. The output of color killer also feeds into it. PAL delay line, separation of U and V color phasers This network separated U and V signals, with are then fed to respective demodulator. Gated burst amplifier, the gated burst amplifier separates the burst pulses and amplifies them a level suitable to operate the burst phase discriminator. Automatic chroma control, ACC the magnitude of the voltage so fed back is proportional to the magnitude of the burst, 
and therefore to the amplitude of chroma signal itself. This voltage is used to control the first stage of chroma amplifier, in such way to ensure constant chroma signal amplitude. Burst phase discriminator, it is sensitive to burst pulses, and is designed to detect. Audio Video Engineering Chapter 5 6. Any differences which might exist between the phase of burst pulse and that of the reference oscillator. It produces at its output a DC voltage, whose magnitude and polarity are proportional to the magnitude and direction of the detected phase difference. Burst phase identifier. This circuit is able to identify the phase relationship of the color burst. 180 degree switch. This switch is used to periodically invert the waveform fed to the V-signal demodulator. Color killer control. This is just a half-wave rectifier, which produces a steady DC potential from the succession of burst pulses. During black and white transmission the DC potential is absent, and hence biases the second chroma amplifier to cut off state. C. Draw block diagram of color TV transmitter, encoder, and explain its working in detail. ANS, explanation, for marks, a PAL color TV transmitter consists of following three main sections. 1. Production of luminance, Y, and chrominance, U and V, signals, color camera tube produces R, G and B voltages pertaining to the intensity of red, green and blue colors respectively in pixels. The luminance signal Y is obtained by a resistive matrix, using Grassmann's law. Y equals 0.3 R plus 0.59 G plus 0.11 B. For color section Y is inverted colors R and B obtained from the color camera. Audio Video Engineering Chapter 5 7 Tubes are added to it to get RY and BY color difference signal. These signals are weighted by two resistive matrix network, which gives U and V signals, as U equals 0.493, VY, and V equals 0.877, RY2. PAL encoder. PAL switch which operates electronically at 7812.5 Hz with the help of bistable multivibrator, and feeds the subcarrier to balanced modulator, with phase difference of plus 900 on one line, and minus 900 on the next line. The PAL encoder consists of a subcarrier generator and two balanced modulator with filters to produce modulated subcarrier signal. These signals are added vertically to give chroma signal C. Then chroma signal is mixed with Y signal along with sync and blanking pulses to produce color composite video signal CCVS. 3. Video and Audio Modulators and Transmitting Antenna CCVS amplitude modulates the main video carrier. It is followed by a sharp VSB filter to attenuate the LSB to give AM VSB signal for transmitter. Audio signal modulates separate carrier. This modulation is FM type. AM VSB video signal, along with audio signal passes to the transmitting antenna through diplexer bridge, which is a whetstones bridge. Diagram Audio Video Engineering Chapter 5 8 A. Describe the principle of LCD with neat sketch. ANS, working principle, 1 mark. LCD TV has two sheets of polarized glass plates with some liquid crystal solution trapped between them, forcing the liquid crystal into a twisted structural arrangement. Diagram, 2 marks. Working, 1 mark, LCD TV uses the LCD display technology to produce images. LCD is a form of visual display technology that functions by sandwiching a layer of liquid crystals between two transparent electrodes or conductive surfaces. Liquid crystals are specialized molecules that flow like liquids but polarize light like solid, crystalline structures. LCD technology works by selective passage of light, which passes through millions of individual LCD structures. These shutters are arranged in grids and constitute colored filters 
allowing only the RGB portion of the light to pass through white light, are typically provided by a series of CCFLs, cold cathode fluorescent lamps, which are rear of the screen. Every single sub-pixel is formed by a shutter-filter combination, and these sub-pixels blend together to form whole picture. Audio Video Engineering Chapter 5 9 a. Compare NTSC, PAL and SECOM system, any six points. 6. MANS. I. Draw block diagram of color TV transmitter and label it. ANS. E. State working principle of LCD TV with appropriate diagram. ANS. Diagram 2M, explanation 2M, LCD, liquid crystal display, technology. LCD technology is quite different to that found in other TV types such as the original CRT, tube television, and in plasma TVs. A liquid crystal layer is stimulated by an electrical current, causing individual pixels to either shut out light or let it pass through. In this way each pixel can be either light or dark, and the use of color filters gives the necessary red, green, and blue light with which to create an image of many millions of colors. The main principle behind liquid crystal molecules is that when an electric current is Audio Video Engineering Chapter 5 10 Applied to them, they tend to untwist. This causes a change in the light angle passing through them. This causes a change in the angle of the top polarizing filter with respect to it. So little light is allowed to pass through that particular area of LCD. Thus that area becomes darker comparing to others. Because the light source is a bulb at the back of the screen, rather than light emitting phosphors at the front of the screen, this technology is referred to as transmissive. Liquid crystals exhibit some of the qualities of both a solid and a gas. There is uniformity to the structure, but it can be influenced by an electrical current. Let's look at a very basic LCD structure. Two layers of polarized glass encase a layer of liquid crystal. The rear panel of glass is vertically polarized, while the front panel is horizontally polarized. If light was simply shined through from behind, none would emerge from the front. Microscopic grooves are cut into each sheet of glass, vertical grooves 4. The vertically polarized glass, horizontal grooves for the horizontally polarized glass. The liquid crystal between the layers of glass then conforms to these grooves, creating a 90 degree twist. Activate the light source now, and the liquid crystal will turn the light through 90 degrees, so that it emerges from the front. B. Draw the block diagram of color TV receiver. ANS, note, any other relevant diagram can be considered. Audio Video Engineering Chapter 5 11 C. Draw the color killer circuit. Describe its working. Why and where it is used. For MANS, diagram. Working. The color killer circuit is shown in FIG. The forward bias of Q5, the last stage of bandpass amplifier depends on the state of the color killer circuit. When a color signal is being received, the 7.8 kHz switching rate of the RY signal component is available at the APC automatic phase control circuit of the reference subcarrier oscillator. It is applied via C1 to the base of tuned amplifier Q6. The amplified 7.8 kHz signal is AC coupled to Q7. Diode D3 conducts on negative half cycles charges the capacitor C2 with the polarity marked across it. The discharge current from this capacitor provides forward bias to Q7, the emitter follower. Such an action results in a square wave signal at the output of Q7. It is coupled back via a 680 ohm resistor to the tuned circuit in the collector of Q6. This provides positive feedback and thus improves the quality factor of the tuned circuit. The color killer diode D4 rectifies the square wave output from the emitter of Q7. 
The associated RC filter circuit provides a positive DC voltage at point A, and this serves a source of forward bias to the chrominance amplifier Q5. Diode D5 is Audio Video Engineering Chapter 5 12 Switched on by this bias, and so clamps the voltage produced at A by the potential divider, 3.3K and 680 ohm, across the plus 15V line. When a monochrome transmission is received there is no 7.8 kHz input to the color killer diode D4, and no positive voltage is developed at its cathode, point A. Both D5 and the base emitter junction of Q5 are now back biased by the 20V potential returned at A via the 220K resistor. The chrominance signal channel, therefore, remains interrupted. Why it is used? The color killer circuit is used to block the color signal in the receiver circuit to reproduce black and white picture from color signal. Where it is used, it is used in color TV receiver circuit between first and second chroma amplifier. B. Draw the CKT diagram of ACC amplifier and explain its working. Diagram 2M explanation 2M. Burst pulse is fed to ACC amplifier diode D8 and R43, C21, and C22 forms half wave rectifier and filter circuit. It provides negative DC voltage, which is proportional to amplitude of received signal. Output of Q7 is positive voltage, which changes with amplitude of chroma signal. This voltage normally 7 volt. It is given to first chroma amplifier to control its gain. Purpose of R46 and R47 is to Audio Video Engineering Chapter 5 13 Obtain correct steady bias for first chroma amplifier. R44 provide adjustable reverse bias for Q7 to delay conduction until the chroma signal exceeds the given threshold. C. Define pre-emphasis and de-emphasis, 2M each, pre-emphasis, if the higher frequency component is artificially boosted at the transmitter and correspondingly cut at the receiver, and improvement in noise immunity could be expected. This boosting of the higher modulating frequencies, in accordance with a prearranged curve is termed as pre-emphasis. De-emphasis, the compensation of attenuation of high frequency component for proper reproduction of modulating signal at the receiver which are already boosted up at the transmitter is known as de-emphasis. A. Draw the circuit diagram of chroma signal amplifier and explain same CKT. Diagram for M explanation 2M. Audio Video Engineering Chapter 5 14 Color Saturation Control Circuit Function of Saturation Control Circuit to form variables attenuator to change magnitude of chroma signal, which is fade to U and V demodulator. Attenuator consists of diode D1, D2 with R7, R9 and variable DC voltage obtained from DC source through resistor R5. Chroma signal is applied to the saturation control via C6 and taken out by way of C8. These two capacitor are short for high frequency chroma signal, but prevent any DC flow through them. Burst pulse blanking, the function of diodes D3, D4, and R18 shown in figure of chroma amplifier is to prevent color burst pulses from getting through second stage of the chroma amplifier. If allowed to pass through, these would get demodulated at the U and V demodulator along with chroma signal and causes positive pulse at V demodulator and negative pulse by U demodulator both coincide with burst pulse. This occurs during back level hence blanking level should be higher than these pulse to avoid. Its visibility during flyback period. Color killer control. Upper end of R10 is connected to positive voltage generated by color killer circuit on rectification of burst pulse. When color signal is received, bias voltage is 12 volt. This makes Q2 on and ensures flow of chroma signal to Q3. When monochrome signal is received bias applied to R10 becomes 2 volt. 
It is not enough to turn on Q2. Thus no signal is fed to Q3 in absence of color signal. Audio Video Engineering Chapter 5 15 a. Describe construction and working principle of plum icon camera tube. Diagram, for M explanation, for M. Principle, plum icon camera tube works on the principle of photoconductivity, where the resistance of target material shows a marked decrease when exposed to light. Construction, focus and deflection, and both obtained magnetically its target operates as API and semiconductor diode the inner surface of the phase plate is coated with a thin transparent conductive layer of tin oxide, SNOW2. This forms a strong N-type layer, and serves as a signal plate of the target photoconductive layer of pure lead monoxide, is deposited on the scanning side of this layer, which is intrinsic, or I-type finally the pure PBO is doped to form a P-type semiconductor on which the scanning beam lands working. In the plum icon, each element serves as a capacitor in series with a reverse bias light-controlled diode. In the signal circuit, the conductive film of pin oxide is connected to the target supply of 40V through an external load resistance RL to develop. Audio Video Engineering Chapter 5 16. The camera output signal voltage light from the scene being televised is focused through the transparent layer of tin oxide on the photoconductive lead monoxide. Without light the target prevents any conduction. Because of absence of charge carriers there is no output current. The incidence of light on the target results in photo excitation of a semiconductor junction between PBO and DOPT layer the resultant decrease in resistance causes flow of signal current, which is proportional to the incident light of each photo element.